Hello friends! There are a lot of new people coming to Stable Diffusion these days, so I thought we'd catch up a little bit and compile a list of some beginner tips in Stable Diffusion's most popular graphical user interface, Automatic 11.11. Let's dive straight in with our first tip. High Resolution Fix Are you trying to render in high resolution, but the images are all weird and the heads are, you know, being cropped out? Then you should probably have a look at High Res Fix. Click the little high res fix checkbox and set your first pass resolution. Let's say you want your finished image to be 1024 by 1024. Then set your first pass resolution to 512 by 512 and your full resolution to 1024 by 1024. Leave the denoising strength at default for now. But remember, the higher the value, the more changes in your image from 512 to 1024. Live render preview. Now this feature is so requested that I made a full video on it, but it's still asked every now and again. If you want to see your image live as the rendering, go into the settings and check under user interface and change the slider for show image creation progress to 1 or higher. 1 if you have a fast GPU and higher if you have a slower GPU. Just remember that this feature will slow down your renders by a little bit. Here's a quick little intermission to mention my Patreon. Community support is a huge part of keeping smaller channels like this one live. If you do want to make a contribution, you can find the links to the Patreon in the description below. And if you don't, that's fine too. If you feel like it, like and subscribe to make sure the algorithm shows you more of my content. Let's get back to the tips. Oh, by the way, here's a different tip. Don't fart in a spacesuit. PNG Info Do you keep forgetting your pump settings? Did you know you can just drag and drop your image in the PNG Info tab? All your settings will be imported in... Go into Settings and under Save Images and Grids, make sure Save Text Information about Generation Parameters as Chunks to PNG Files is checked. You're all set. Use Face Restore. The most common issue with rendering faces are the eyes, they just aren't looking great at all. Just under your resolution sliders, there's a little checkbox that says Restore Faces. Make sure you check that whenever you're creating portraits of people. Just remember that it might smooth out the skin and remove imperfections, whether you want it or not. If you see no change after checking this, go into your Settings tab, find Face Restore, check in Code Former as your face restoration model, apply the settings and you're all set. Prompt play. Whenever you need to create an image, you need to write a prompt. And if you want some of the words in that prompt to have greater importance, you can put them in the start of the prompt. You can also put them in the end of the prompt to give them lesser importance. But to have more control of this, you can actually weight them by using parentheses and brackets. A bracket will decrease the prompt and a parenthesis will increase the prompt. Now, you can go even further by adding a colon after the prompt word and then a numbers value. So let's say you have a parenthesis and you have a word like muscular, then you add a colon, 1.5, and parenthesis. That would multiply this word by 1.5 or make it 150% of its strength. Bonus tip. How did the barber win the race? He knew a shortcut. This shortcut, however, will save you the hassle of moving the mouse up to the generation button. Control enter will start your render. Convenient, eh? These were my top five beginner tips. Leave your best tips in the comments below. As always, have a good one. See ya.